solitary animals, introverts of the wild. by Joshua Delstein, art by Dominique Ramsey. For all the jugglers, octopus, and Augustus of the world. At, at the watering hole, a parade of elephants pass by. A tail of giraffes bent by long necks down for a drink. And a dazzle of zebras, brilliant brown and white, blink in the hot sun. But the panther arrives by herself. The panther is a solitary animal. That silvery cloud swimming in the sea is actually a school of fish. That splash and crash is a part of whale, whale sounding. They hold a fever of stingrays gliding by. But what do you call a group of octopuses? A tingle of octopuses? A chandelier of octopuses? A multiples of octopuses? No octopuses prefer to be alone. The octopus is a solitary animal. The sloth is a solitary animal too. A worm of swallows is called a gulp. A handle of human birds is a charm. Pigeons flying together are called a kit. But what do you call a group of eagles? Nothing at all. An eagle is a solitary animal. From the ground, she looks like a lonely speck. But from up in the sky, the eagle sees all the world below. She sees not just vessels, fevers, and gulps, but a sloth smiling slowly and a panther stalking silently, and an octopus dancing by himself. We may appear alone like her, but we aren't, not really, for there is a whole world of solitary animals out there. Alone, together, happy. Yeah.